sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors, standing water or high humidity, nasty odors, or dangerous mold. Crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 25th of January. I'm James Spam. Got some rain mainly for the southern half of Alabama this morning. North Alabama will likely stay dry. Weather a bit colder tomorrow and a pretty good pop of cold air coming in here by the weekend ahead. Let's talk about it. Let's go to the upper air look across the country early this morning. We've got a trough coming in from the west. You can see that dip in the height lines there across Arkansas, Louisiana. And that's producing a little rain for South Alabama. That was the radar this morning. Some of that up on the northern edge is not reaching the ground, but a little patchy light rain for South Alabama this morning. Nothing too heavy. Temperatures are mostly in the 40s. Gadsden 40, Birmingham at 50. We're expecting highs in the low 50s in most spots today. There's the watch warning map. Got a dense fog advisory for parts of Texas, a winter storm warning for parts of Kansas and New Mexico. Otherwise, things are pretty quiet. Maybe some thunder today for the Florida Peninsula. This is tomorrow. Again, the chance of thunder for South Florida. And day three. Again, maybe some thunder from uh, Daytona Beach down to Miami. Here's the rain for the next seven days across the country. And you can see for Alabama, just not much at all. For the northern three quarters of the state, we'll have that rain for South Alabama this morning. And really, that's about it. There might be a sprinkle or two on Friday, but no really meaningful rain after today for the next seven days. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run valid today at 3 o'clock. A little wave coming through, and you can see maybe some light rain near the Gulf Coast lingering this afternoon. Otherwise, the sky mostly cloudy today with highs in the low 50s. Clearing should begin up in northwest Alabama this afternoon. Tomorrow is sunny day, a colder day. We start the day in the 20s, the high mid to upper 40s. Thursday... Lots of sunshine back in the 50s. And then Friday, a trough swings through, and it looks like it's going to come through in dry fashion. Uh, the sky mostly cloudy, the high 47 to 50. Chance of light snow northeast of the state over Tennessee and Kentucky. Maybe some light rain south and west of here. But again, Alabama looks pretty much dry. Saturday, noticeably colder. Uh, we might stay in the 30s much of the day over north Alabama. Uh, the sky will be sunny, though, a brighter day, and Again, the chance of a nasty nor'easter for the coast of New England, Cape Cod, Boston, the coast of Maine. They'll be watching that carefully. Sunday is sunny day. Uh, we go back in the 50s Sunday afternoon. This is Monday. Highs well up in the 50s, maybe approaching 60. And this is a week from today, Tuesday, the 1st of February. Got a big trough in the west, ridging in the east, and that looks uh, mostly dry, maybe a few sprinkles up in the northwestern corner of the state with a southerly flow. We could be in the 60s there. We'll go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 3rd. A southwest flow aloft and a cold front pushing in with a chance of showers and maybe some thunder if this verifies, and we all know this could change, but certainly looks like some chance of rain toward the middle or end of next week. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean, about 2 inches between now and the 8th of February, but a huge spread out there in the ensemble members. Some of the members are pumping out over 7 inches of rain, which obviously we don't buy into. Just for the fun of it, we'll check the snow output off the European ensemble. Just no signal at all there for any big snow event here through early February. Temperatures, you can see the cold pops, uh, one tomorrow, the high 48. Saturday, the high dropping to 40. And we're expecting lows well down in the 20s this weekend. We could see some upper teens over parts of North Alabama, but then we go up in the low 60s by Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And with a pattern flip, you can see the change here on the CPC outlook. This is for the 1st through the 7th of February. Temperatures around here will likely be above average if this forecast works out. We think it will. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors? Call Alabama Professional Services. Standing water or high humidity? Call APS. Nasty odors or dangerous mold? Call APS. Critters, bugs, or other pests? That's right, call APS. It's a fact. Crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. 
Call Alabama Professional Services today.